What's up guys? It's Mashrina. I'm at the airport leaving India. I've got Zia on my carrier bag again. It's was going to the toilet again. I've got such a bad headache guys. The time right now is um, 2.17 a.m. Our flight's at 3.30. We actually have to run to immigration right now. It's was going to the toilet. We just checked in. We checked in all of our hand luggages, like our cabin size bags, because you know what? With a baby, it's so hard to like take them around. So we just checked in everything. Oh, and the queue was ages. We were there for Etihad Airways. Whoops, we were there for Etihad. And we just said goodbye to everyone over there. Yeah, we just said bye to them. They left. We just said goodbye over there. And yeah, I threw up twice, guys. Oh my God, it's so awful. I threw up. Was just looking up. Oh, I have such a bad headache, honestly. Like, I took car seat more twice and I threw up twice. And yeah, threw up once outside and then I threw up once here in the toilet. Like, I, I, I was gonna plan to properly vlog this holiday, not this holiday, this like trip from like Chennai back to London, but. I don't know, I don't feel well, so there's this man, this kind of, we just emptied the, the water bottles. Because when we came, I forgot to empty and I got into trouble at the immigration, so. I was in London, so I didn't want to get into trouble, I was like, go and empty them, so yeah. We're gonna go and do immigration now, I hate immigration. Let's go. Let's go, we're going to immigration right now. Oh, it was so awful standing in the queue over there. For Etihad Airways, like the line wasn't that long when he arrived, so we were like right at the front, but it just got quite out there. But the guy was really nice, so it was worth it. So. Hopefully, my headache goes away. I think I'm sleep. Honestly, I'm so like sleep deprived and just so tired. It's like boiling hot outside, and then when I came in, it's like nice and cold in here because of the air conditioning. So I think the constant change in like temperature is also like <laughs> messing me up. I don't feel good, guys. Like, oh my god. I feel awful, like I actually feel sick. Like, we just got told for immigration we can go onto this like family line because of Zia. He, he, he. I'm very happy because the other line's there and it's like massive. Yes, I hate going for immigration. We, I don't think we'll have time to go and sit at the gate. Dude. As soon as we go there, we're gonna have to like get on the plane. Pretty sure. All right. Hey guys, we're on the plane. Zia's on my lap. We have to look. We have tons of legroom. There's tons of space for legroom. And we're going to have a bassinet fitted over there. This is the. Um, so this is Zia's over here. So this is the flight from Chennai to Abu Dhabi. So it's only four hours. I wish we had the bassinet for a seven hour flight, which is from Abu Dhabi to London. But it was all booked up. So we got at least we got this. Oh, finally, the license is a little bit better. Like the people are still boarding, it's raining outside. It's 25 degrees outside and it's raining in Chennai. We haven't taken off yet, yeah. Like, you can finally kind of see me a little bit better. There's the this space, it's just popping. Look, there's my leg. If you're wondering why my foot looks so ugly, it's because I've got my bandage because I, I've got a ligament tear. So, yeah. So as soon as the flight took off, the cabin crew came and installed the bassinet for Zia. And luckily she slept the entire four hour flight so I got to sleep as well and Ismet slept as well so this was this was great. Um, I'm so glad we got the bassinet. Our gate number is 58. We're going there now. We still have a few hours. It's 
8.20 here in Abu Dhabi and our flights are 11 10 so we have about three hours and yeah we're on the if not especially the trolley the shopping trolley with Zia sitting on it so this is nice <laughs> and yeah I'm gonna go sit on the gate and I'm gonna go to the toilet and properly like fix my hijab go to the toilet and stuff because I just changed the off and I didn't like going to the toilet myself so Just left Isman and Zia at the gate. I'm gonna empty this bottle of formula because it was made like ages ago and she didn't drink it. I ended up giving her another bottle, so I need to throw this. They made me take my passport and my boarding pass to exit the gate. I don't know why there was like a huge gate, a huge gate, a huge line to get into the actual gate, but we got in, it's fine. We have seats. And I'm trying to find toilets, so I'm like, okay, I've seen ages. Fixed up my hijab and stuff, and now I'm gonna buy something to eat. Went to the toilet, I kind of refreshed myself, brushed and all that, so I feel I feel a lot better. And yeah, I've got like my crepe bandage and stuff on my foot, and I feel um, my foot. I can't really. I'm wearing like a compression socks thing as well, so I basically can't feel my foot, <laughs> which is good because if I can feel my foot, then because I need to keep it elevated because I'm not keeping it elevated um, it'll be really painful so <laughs> probably not the best way to deal with this but I will watch out so I can do it so there was like a vending machine over there but they have like it's 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 sandwiches so, so, I'm to so I'm gonna get those over here to uh, but Vegas market, let's see Flat white for its milk and croissants for both of us. I don't like coffee and I don't like. I don't feel like having tea, so I didn't. I didn't get any tea. And yeah, it was like 15 pounds altogether, which is like oh my gosh. For two croissants and coffee, like wow. But airport prices, everybody knows. But yeah, hopefully it's good. I didn't put any sugar. I'm just gonna let him do it. So I bought there. Hopefully, hopefully he'll appreciate that. <laughs> Finished having the tea and croissants was really really good. I was starving. I took some pressing. Head is aching. Zia's up here, down here. I mean, and then I think that's the flight behind me. Yeah. On the next plane, Zia's here. There's no bassinet on this plane. It is like 10:52. Take off at 10. No, 11:10. So yeah, we've got a little bit of time left, and yeah, I wish we had a bass net for this flight because this is the longest one, seven hours, almost eight. The other one was only four. I slept the whole flight. I slept the entire. She slept the entire flight as well. I don't know why I slept, but yeah, I was only awake for like 20 minutes max. I was like asleep, and yeah, I feel so much better. I think in London we're gonna land about 2:50 p.m. Right now it's like maybe like 7 a.m. Yeah, what a Guys, we have arrived home. I'm gonna have to stand in this line because of this map. 
because he doesn't have any shorts for us to be right here, huh? I used to go through the E gate before, but because of Zia, which is right here, because of Zia, we have to wait here. And we've all got the shorts. Well, not all of us, him, just him. So, yeah, Zia's very happy to be home. Thank <laughs> you.